There's something you don't see every day. This is a uh, SM, the Shure SM57 microphone in perfect cosmetic condition. Completely dead. Um, not a single sound. So I've got my Yorkville uh, PS12P speaker here. And I've just got um, XLR with this is an older 58 that I have. Seen, uh, seen its days. Works perfectly. Verified that. Uh, plug that in. Works perfectly. Plug the 57 in. Um, won't work at all. Uh, this actually. I uh, was on a gig. My drum. This is my drummer's uh, snare mic. And uh, we were quite puzzled as, as to what was wrong trying to troubleshoot that was pretty difficult because um, you know you should be able to these mics very seldom fail as most people know especially ones that look like this um, I thought there was something wrong with the channel something wrong with the board maybe a broken cable uh, it took quite a while to diagnose this problem and figure it out that it was actually the actual microphone um, anyways uh, I'm gonna tear into this to see if see if there's anything obvious that uh, can be fixed with this uh, so yeah I'll put the camera down I think what I'll check first is is maybe just take the uh, the uh, XLR and put out and see if there's any broken wires there all right well got the mic apart here just decided to cut these wires I'll solder them back but Check the schematic. There's actually a transformer down there in the uh, plastic or the glue goop, and um, I would imagine that's for impedance matching. Here's something pretty interesting about this microphone. Actually, while I was pulling on this capsule, you can actually pull it slightly out. The reason why you can do that is because it's actually just these sort of fastened to this rubber membrane here that that uh, seems to be uh, sort of acting like a shock absorber which is kind of interesting it's probably why these microphones are so durable <coughs> excuse me anyways I just thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd uh, point that out it's kind of interesting yeah there you go. That's what a SM57 microphone capsule looks like. Doesn't appear to be. Uh, doesn't appear that I'm going to be able to take this part uh, any further. Connect to either. Oh, there we go. To connect to either one of these terminals, and you can see the other one there. So I'm just going to check if those are actually connected. And if it is, maybe we could do some tests on the transformer portion of it or uh, test if there's a way of testing this out. Maybe we can verify that the capsule is, is working. It's either a problem with the transformer or the capsule at this point. So we can uh, further diagnose. But um, at least that, that's a good look at what an SM57 capsule looks like. And um, here is the upper portion of the uh, capsule body. Very, uh, very uh, well put together microphone. You see here, uh, it's got these rubber... Um, sort of o-rings here well after doing some testing on this capsule I think uh, I think this thing is uh, is pooched so uh, which is really unusual I don't know if that's something that happens a lot but I find it very strange I can't get any uh, DC uh, resistance it basically measures as an open circuit. Um, 
and when I put it on the continuity setting and touch these two leads it's also an open circuit which uh, doesn't seem to be quite right either so uh, and I'm not going to start taking this thing apart but uh, and since it is a friend's mic I'll just put it back together and give it back to him it's broken anyway so I wasn't able to fix it but at least I was able to pinpoint more or less what's wrong with it. I did check the um, the transformer and the transformer seems to be fine and uh, so this portion of the microphone is okay it's uh, this part and it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of physical damage I can't see why that would happen but uh, if anybody out there has any ideas as to how a microphone like this could just stop working like that uh, please let me know. Um, anyways, I'm going to put this back together and end this video. Um, unfortunately, this is an unsuccessful repair, but at least uh, we've pin pinpointed the problem down to uh, this capsule here, as well as taking the mic apart and seeing exactly how it's put together, so on and so forth. That's pretty interesting. Well, this part actually is aluminum as well. So this part is aluminum, that part is steel. Um, so yeah, just kind of interesting to see the construction of these microphones. Good, they are usually good microphones, but maybe this one's just a lemon. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.